So we got our public rectangle called bounding box. Go back to your update function. And uh, so we're going to set our bounding box equal to, and I mentioned uh, in the comments of one of my last videos, one of my uh, viewers asked um, about the collision that I had done in the Pong clone tutorial series, how it was kind of drawn out. And it was an old school, uh, long, longhand code, uh, you know, box collision. Um, you know, if this if this side is overlapping that side and that side is overlapping that side, then you have a collision. XNA has an easier way of doing this by using uh, rectangles as bounding boxes and seeing if they intersect each other. So um, the code for this, it'll be a new rectangle. And um, be an, uh, we'll pass this as an int uh, position.x and then uh, it, what what the rectangle takes is is an x position a y position a width and a height so it can get the rectangle um, and set like an invisible uh, box around that area so we'll pass that as as well so I'll explain this in a second shin dot y and then f it's going to take the width and the height which is 45 or 45 and and if you want you could do texture dot width and texture dot height but I know that the width and height of my sprite the asteroid sprite is 45 by 45 so I'm just gonna do it that way um, and just quickly again uh, what this is doing is we're setting a bounding box variable which is gonna draw an invisible box around our asteroid no matter where it is on the screen because it's taking position X and position Y of the asteroid um, and it, in the update so every frame it's grabbing those positions and creating this invisible box around it okay um, next we're just gonna update the movement of the asteroid. Um, so we're going to go position.y uh, will equal position.y plus speed. So what this is going to do is it's going to, the asteroid starting at off the screen off the top and it's just going to make the asteroid go straight down the screen um, at the speed that we set above. And then uh, we're going to set a little thing here to make it when if the, if the asteroid does not collide or it doesn't get blown up by the player ship then and it goes off the bottom of the screen we're going to have it reset back up at the top of the screen again so if position dot y is greater than or equal to 950 which is the height of my game window then position dot y will equal negative 50 so we're just going to reset it back at the top off the screen okay um, and then we're going to put the code in here for rotating our asteroid. Now I got this uh, this rotation code off of a website and uh, played with it a little bit till I got it to work with this asteroid. I'm not, you know, the math on it, uh, I'm not a math whiz, but um, I'm sure if you look at the code when we're done here for the rotation, it'll, it should be easy to understand once you take a look at it, but I'm not going to go into it uh, in here. but. I'll give you guys the code and you can do what you want with that. So it'll be float elapsed. And we'll pass a float. Uh, it'll be game time. Dot elapsed game time. Dot. Let's see here. What am I doing wrong? That total seconds. It's going to be um, rotation angle is plus or equal to elapsed. Um, we're going to create float circle. And basically, we're just doing math up or pi uh, times 2 to get our circle. math helper dot pi times two and then rotation angle will equal rotation angle um, circle okay I'm not sure why we're getting this error it's still being constructed please wait a few seconds okay so we'll just give that a little bit here but um, anyways, that's the code for rotating the asteroid. I don't completely understand it. Um, like I said, I'm not a math whiz, but I'm sure many of you are good at math if you're into program math. If you're good, at, if you're uh, watching these videos, so you can go ahead and, and maybe you can explain it to me in the comments. 
So, okay, um, that'll be it for our update function. So, um, we can close that. Oh, there we go. Okay, next will be a, and of course, our draw function. Public. I really need to stop doing these videos so late. I can't type. Void draw, and it'll be sprite batch. And what we're going to do is we're going to say if not destroyed. So if our if um, the asteroid has not been destroyed by a ship or a bullet or something like that, then we will draw it. So what happens is when the when the asteroid is destroyed, it will not draw it anymore. Okay. So if not destroyed, um, it'll be sprite batch dot draw. Um, it takes. Uh, we're going to put in. It's going to draw the texture. Uh, to the position. Uh, we're going to set this to null right now because we can add more um, more arguments to this if we want. It doesn't always just take the three. And since we're rotating this, uh, we're going to want to do that. So uh, then we'll put our color dot white. Um, uh, by the rotation angle. Origin. Where it's uh, it's asking what angle you want to rotate at here, right here. And then it's asking, what do you want to rotate around, which will be the origin, which we set that to the center of our sprite. Okay. Um, then it's just sprite effects, which we're not doing any. We'll just put 1.0. Just as a default number. Um, sprite effects, it's going to take that. And um, there is none, so it's just dot none. And then and then it's going to take a layer depth, with this, which is just uh, nothing. Okay. So um, let's close that off. That would help. There we go. Okay, so that is it for our asteroid class. Let me just go over this real quick. I might have to break this video into two because this is running a little long. Um, okay, we have a rectangle bounding box. Um, this is for collision. So it's going to draw an invisible rectangle around our asteroid no matter where it is on the screen. So it can check to see if it's intersecting with anything else. And we'll deal with that in another video. Our texture, our position, the origin, which will be the center of our sprite. A rotation angle, which we get with all this cool math stuff down here that I hardly understand. Uh, our speed of the asteroid, and then um, a couple of bool checks to see if it's colliding with anything or if it's destroyed. Okay, so we're setting our origin here in the load content and the texture. Um, our bounding box setup is right here. It's taking, it's drawing the box at the asteroid's po x and y positions, and drawing the box at the the, f the uh, dimensions of our PNG. Um, this is updating our movement. It's uh, just going down the screen at the speed. If it hits the bottom of the screen without being destroyed, it'll just reset that asteroid back up at the top. I still don't know why we have this error here. It shouldn't be here, but uh, we'll see. We'll deal with it when I debug. And then uh, our cool rotation stuff and then drawing the sprite to the screen. Okay, so we're going to save that off. Maybe if I build this, I can find out what the problem is. Object reference is required for NASDAQ field method property. Lapse time that get. Um, let's see. Okay, you know what? For now, until I get this fixed, let's just comment out a rotation here. Okay, we don't need to rotate it at all. And we'll just delete all our spike patch stuff. So we'll just go with what we normally do with our texture position and our color dot white. Next video, I will work on fixing this and find out why that's happening. Um, Okay, so basically just just redo your draw to just the texture, the position, the color, and just comment out all your rotation code here. All right, so save it off. Build it. Okay, we have no errors, so we'll go into our game1.cs, and we will go into our load content. Now first we will uh, instantiate um, an object of the class. So it's going to be asteroid, and we'll just call it... Um, We'll call it asteroid. Equals new asteroid. Okay. So then in our load content down here in our game one cs be asteroid dot load content be content. Uh, we'll go into our update. Asteroid dot I'll just dot update be game time. And then in our draw function. Like I said, we want to draw everything under our star field. 
So it'll be um, asteroid dot draw, and it'll be a sprite batch. Okay, now if we did everything right, and I didn't screw anything up with that rotation code, we can save it, build it, and, oh, where did I not put a semicolon? Aha, okay. Now we can save it and build it. And we succeeded. Thank God. Here we go. And there's our asteroid. And it's especially laggy today because I am actually uploading the previous video to this right now too. So uh, we don't have any collision right now because I didn't set it up with the, the ship to collide with that or do the collision checks yet. But what it's doing, notice that when it gets to the bottom of the screen, it's just going to reset at the top because there is no um, collision right now. Okay, and once I get the sprite, the, the rotation code working, that'll be cool because the, the asteroid will be rotating in place and it'll, it'll look a lot cooler. Alright guys, um, well that's it for this video. It might be two videos um, because this is running long. long. Um, but if you like it, uh, toss me a like. If you want to see the rest of this series, please subscribe. I think the next video we're going to do is going to be our bullet class. Um, which is I've been doing a lot of trial and error with on how I want to deal with that. Uh, so when I finish that up, um, I'll be putting that out hopefully in the next day or two. All right, until then, guys, peace.